Hello, happy March. This is Lee Neal, and we will be preparing my March bread in this video. The theme for this month was inspired by cafes, obviously. I feel like I go between the themes of cafe and flowers. But before we journal, let me take you around my neighborhood on a snowy day. I moved to my new place in November, but I feel like I didn't really get settled until January. So my area is Soho in Manhattan. I live near tons of restaurants, shopping, and I'm always surrounded by tourists and New Yorkers. But this blizzard emptied the streets out a bit. I'm still getting adjusted to it. It's more lively than my previous neighborhood. Anyways, let's head into one of my favorite little cafes and journal for a bit. This is Urban Backyard. They have yummy desserts and teas and coffees. Coffees, that's not plural, but I definitely recommend the rose masala chai loaf and succulent cupcakes. And their drinks are so good. I got the matcha and my friend got their cold brew. I hope you're as excited as I am because this will be a full plan with me video. I've been so busy this year that I've only been able to paint cover pages with y'all, but finally I got some time to plan all the spreads for this month. So let's get started with my usual Dutch door cover page, shall we? Welcome back to my room. I've started to journal and film in the evenings after work because that's all the undisturbed time I get. My friends have been visiting me this past month, so I've been taking them around on the weekends. It's hard to find time to do quiet hobbies like this with a busy schedule. When do you find time to journal or art? Comment below and let me know if you have any tips. So I'm naming my imaginary cafe Sit and Sip. I just realized the name is kind of similar to a bakery here called Bibble and Sip. They're popular for their cream puffs, but I prefer Beard Papa's cream puffs any day. I feel like all my friends like Bibble and Sip over Beard Papa's, but I think Bibble and Sip, their cream puffs are like a pineapple bun injected with cream. It's way too big to be called a cream puff. It should be called a cream bun. Then maybe I'll like it for what it is. Well, I'm highly opinionated about sweets. Sorry for the tangent. So what's happening on my cover page is a layer of wax resist, gouache, color pencil, and micron pen. All my supplies are listed below if you'd like to check them out. I'll be using lots of washi tape in this video. This is a fun sparkly one I got from Target's dollar spot a long time ago. Sometimes you can find cute and cheap craft supplies there. I'm cutting little triangle and square shapes for the flags on this banner. All right, let's cut these windows open. I'm definitely making Dutch doors very impractical. I keep calling them Dutch doors, but it's basically a window cutout. Next is the interior of my cafe. Sit and Sip is going to be a bookstore cafe. In my future home, I would like to have ceiling high bookshelves. I'm not sure if I'll be able to own that many books, but I just love looking at bookshelves. Or I could own a lot of books, but not be able to read that many books. It's a quiet hobby that I would love to make time for, but just haven't yet. My coworker has read a ton of books already, and it's only the beginning of the year. What about you? Have you been reading anything lately? I guess one book I consistently read is the Bible. This is a book I keep rereading because the words in there are spirit and life. It strengthens me to live a life of faith in God, and there is truth in the Bible that anchors my soul. 
when every fallible human being, politician and celebrity, etc., has a philosophy, an opinion, and wants to fight about everything, I depend on the truth from the infallible God to establish my standing in the unshakable, solid foundation of his words and his promises so that I can stand in this dark age. So if you find yourself in the dark, then I recommend the Bible as a source of light, life, and comfort. God is found in the word and his speaking may be exactly what you need. Okay, so what have I been doing? I've been mixing paint, color pencil, and pen. I like the different textures together, so you'll notice I usually use all three mediums in one illustration. This time though, I'm using a new white pen that my friend gave me. This is the Archer and Olive Acrylograph pen. I was telling her how much I loved white ink on dark surfaces, so she gave me this pen. I'll be using it more later. But here we are again, washi tape banner flags, and we're about done with the cover page. I'm really happy with how this turned out. If you recreate this with me, please tag me. I would love to see. Now for the most satisfying part, pulling away the washi tape. Look at those crisp edges. All right, now next page. Gosh, I have not planned a full month's worth of pages since last December because since I've moved into my little room, um, there hasn't been much light during the day to film and my neighbor is super noisy. So I felt less motivated and kind of frustrated um, when I'm recording videos and voiceovers. But I'm going to try again. So you might occasionally hear very loud Chinese soap operas or cars honking aggressively outside of my window. So I will be putting a little calendar here of March and I will be using my paper ring printer which is a small portable printer that doesn't use ink. It uses heat to print the stickers and I'm printing it on a kind of frosty, um, clear sticker paper. Okay, so I caught myself messing up the order of my weekdays after I filmed this, but it should start with Sunday and end with Saturday. So a trick that I use when I'm filling out my calendar dates is to first write down the beginning, the weekends, and the end numbers, then fill everything in between it. This saves me from making mistakes. I'll be using washi tape in greens and browns. But before I do that, I finally noticed that I made an oopsie, so I'm gonna fix the order of my weekdays. This makes me so glad that this was stickers and not actually stamped on there because then I would have had to white it out. Anyways, Next is my weekly highlights page. I'll be writing down my favorite memories of each week here. It's so convenient to have a mini sticker printer around. I typed up the words and numbers on Photoshop, then saved it as an image and sent it to my printer. But you don't need to use Photoshop. You can print any digital file, scans, or photos in black and white. Here I'm using my new favorite pen, the Archer and Olive Acrylograph White Pen. It's um, really nice because it comes out really uh, thick and opaque. So anyways, we're done with the spread. On to the next page. I hope you're as excited as I am because we will be drawing a mood tracker page, which I've never filmed myself creating before. And of course, it's cafe themed. Um, we will be illustrating a bunch of simple but quirky looking mugs and teacups. I'm going to label the numbers on the cups and I'm planning to color code my mood as half empty or half full 
let's see how optimistic I feel on each day of the month. Feel free to make up your own color key. Alright, on to my weekly spreads. These will be pretty simple, but I'll add a decorative element on each page and a mini calendar so I don't have to flip the pages to see which week I'm in. This uh, printer sticker is coming in so handy because now I can plan my spreads faster than before. Um, I don't have to painstakingly write down every number anymore. My hand actually cramps from doing that. I don't know if yours does, but when I do tedious things with my journal, yeah, my hand cramps. Now I'm just laying down some washi tape as decorative elements and one piece of washi tape to highlight the week that I'm in. Okay, next weekly spread. Here I'm making some sections to log about my week. I thought about getting stamps because they're so cute. I mean, I still might, but I like how I can print out any font with the sticker printer. It only prints in black though, so I guess that's the downside to this little printer. Do you see Elaine in leaning out backwards? Okay, I'm gonna make a fun pop-up to-do list that is inspired by my friend on Instagram, Bujo with Mal. Okay, everyone has to own one of these rounded corner gadgets because they're so useful. They make everything look extra polished. And now I'm just painting these pages teal because it makes it stand out. And I'm going to section out my weekdays on the next page. Now let's illustrate a brunch scene. Okay, will everybody be mad if I say this, but I think avocado toast at Australian brunch places in New York City is a ripoff. You can literally make that for less than $3 at home, but for some reason, because it's cute in photos, we end up paying $20 for some mashed avocado, a poached egg, and a slice of bread. Just saying. It's kind of a waste of money. But I'm a sucker for brunches, so I always go. I just don't order the avocado toast. And I recommend to try other cuisines for brunch. Like, there's a Moroccan-inspired place called Cafe Mogador, a Thai fusion place called Thai Diner, and a Japanese-Italian fusion place called Kimika. So there's just a lot of choices in New York City. Um, I just realized I can go on a tangent about food and I never realized that until I recorded a video. So we're done with week 10 and week 11 onto the next weekly spread page. All right, another very simple weekly spread layout doing a simple line drawing of a fern and laying down some washi tape here to add some color before I stick on my weekdays. Continuing our conversation about brunch just now, I think that you should try dim sum, which is a Chinese brunch, I think, sort of. Anyways, it's really good if you're adventurous. Okay, so here I'm just experimenting. I wanted to try using color pencil as a resist for my gouache paint, but it didn't really work. It's supposed to show up as a white grid underneath. I think it would have worked if I used a white crayon instead though. Here I'm just gonna illustrate a simple little coffee table scene. And I'm just gonna add some washi tape here and there and finish out week 13 by sticking on my weekdays. And here I'm just gonna add a section for my highlights. And we are done with this last uh, weekly spread page. Let's do a quick flip through. 
I hope you enjoyed this plan with me video. I poured my blood and sweat into this. Just kidding, not kidding. I'm still learning how to edit and film video, so it does take me longer than usual. But alas, I've done it again and there's a little improvement. Remember friends, only compare yourself to your best you. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment below and let me what you think let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.